Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 31 of Let's Play Minecraft on the Minecraft modded server here on the Stone Legion. And uh, if you want to check out our server or play on our server, please feel free to check the link in the description. It should be all the information you need to connect and get started. So, um, let's see. So we're in the void world. We're at our base. Uh, this is going to be our like transportation room basically over here. And this is our enchanting and yeah, a little bit of crafting here with the QED, which the Magnum torches, some brewing here, just your unlimited water there, or at least unlimited water for the uh, the potions. And uh, we made ourselves a liquid XP bed rockium drum. The thing is insane. We'll have to show you how we did that. It wasn't actually hard. Um, we got an enchanting table here. That's of course our advanced chanting, the books. Um, and then we have to fit, clean this up. It's not all done yet, of course. Um, and here is our A slash power room, I guess, or where we bring our power tesseract to bring in all our energy and, of course, our energy cells here. Uh, that's basically, I guess, that would be, what, 800 uh, million RF of power there? Mm, quite a bit. And uh, all our anchor to keep the area up. Uh, this over here is a diamond chest. Uh, and the diamond chest actually has our fishery uh, running, and it's a 3x3 three three water source down here. Just thought it'd be cool to hide it. And of course, we have our cool facades, facades, facades um, running here. And I'm going to show you how we made that. Uh, actually, we can go over here and show you that now. So, uh, this is our machine room, I guess, right now. It's kind of, you know, simple, but uh, if we put a wrench on here, you can see the power system. Yeah. But you didn't see that one coming. Uh, anyways, that's our power system. We're going to actually add to this in the future, too, with an ME system to automatically do this. But for now, no big deal. Don't care. Uh, happy with it. Uh, over here is, of course, our um, alloy smelter. And then over here is our painting machine. This is our pride and joy. The painting machine is pretty simple. Uh, I did go ahead and make that without you guys one day. I'll just show you. Painting machine. And uh, it's just basic machine chests for the uh, Ender IO, which we've built a couple before. She was in the system, so I didn't even make one. Nether quartz, some electric steel, and a diamond. And this thing uh, lets you paint uh, blocks. So uh, I'll show you how this wonderful thing works. I'm going to have to do some quartz ones, actually. So uh, let's type it in. Facades. Uh, facades. Ah, there you go. I got that spelling here. And it's made out of the conduit binder, which is just this. We've done this before. Very cheap material, actually, which is ridiculous. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do an entire stack of that. And uh, this time we're going to actually do it in marble. Uh, I want to do it in the brick marble because it's my wall design. And the um, reason I want to do that is because I'm going to end up probably putting some in the walls later on as well for whatever reason, maybe ME system. Apparently, uh, Ender.io has uh, conduit uh, cables or conduits uh, that actually do ME. Yeah, if you can believe that. So we're definitely going to be checking that out later. So uh, we're just going to place this in here, and we'll swap this out for the, the block. Basically, it paints it for you. And there you go. And it's simple as that. And it lets you have the ability to put a cabling in it and etc. So you can see we can put it here. And uh, if we put a wrench out, it'll, it has wrench support or a conduit. It'll show it there. And you can put the conduit inside of it. There you go. Kind of derp there. And you'll see it's part of there. And I'll show you the RF going through it. Um, so you can see the RF levels. Basically, it just tells you if there's storage in it. It's kind of weird. It's not quite like you'd think it is. Like, it doesn't tell you, like, ticks or anything like that of power usage. But uh, it's an awesome painting machine. It's definitely worth it. Um, that's cute. Oh, the animation doesn't keep in sync. <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. I really love it. It's a great machine. Um, I can't have a base without it anymore. That will be something I'll always have to have now. So gives you an idea. So let's get our um, chisel here. Might as well not be so lazy here. Um, and just, uh, you know, so we just click these. There you go. I think I got most of it. I just, I added these in because I kept forgetting to do these anyway. So. Now, it looks fine in here, but keep in mind, outside it might not look as good, or it might not be completely covered like this. So you don't see that inside, but you might want to take a flyby and make sure you get it all covered, of course, and because uh, this doesn't go that far. 
It was like a three by three or two by three. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'll show you our infrastructure out here. We have our anchor out here, and uh, basically our anchor is fed with hoppers for ender pearls, and we have four beacons. Hopefully that keeps pesky people away. Uh, I know poor Toga has had some pests. We call them pests. Pests. Um, that have been uh, building in his area. Like, what the hell is this? Somebody's been building crap all over his base and walls and... I'm sure they're new players, and you know I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying you guys who, if you see this, your asses. I'm not trying to say that, but you are building beside somebody's house, um, who's marked it with a beacon. Even um, oh boy, you guys have been doing quite a bit of work here. Wow, interesting. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to see what we do about that later. I'll have a chat with them. Um, but yeah, you can see uh, Toga's base here. He's been working hard. Of course, he's got a portal to uh, the place here. He put his exact coordinates and stuff. I put mine a little off. But um, even with mine a little off, it seems to work just fine. So, Oh. Interesting. I can't get into hover mode. Huh. My controls must have changed. Interesting. I didn't think they did, but... Um, is this simply? So we go to simply... Huh. Interesting. I mean, you could do this, and just before you die, it should kick in down here, but maybe not. Oh, crap. That's not kicking in. Okay, there's a bug with my uh, jetpack. Not sure why, but uh, whatever. Hover mode is definitely not kicking in. Not even emergency uh, hover mode. Oh, there it goes. Ha! <laughs> That's a cool bug. Anyways, um, so yeah, so uh, we're pretty much set up in our base. We have almost everything we had. I mean, we might be missing a thing or two here, but now we have uh, the infrastructure to expand quite decently. Um, as you notice, uh, Blood Magic and Draconic Evolution was removed due to just craziness. We'll get a roof on this over time. I'll probably just use uh, half steps on the roof and our, our wand, Builder Wand, to easily manipulate it. But, um, yeah, so we got rid of uh, those two mods, and I have no armor on me. I am naked as hell, and I actually don't know uh, which ones are better. I don't know if it's redstone armory or, you know, the other one. Um, there's two of them, which is kind of hard to decide. I'm thinking this one. Yeah, I think this is like the lower tier, but it, it shows the nicer stuff. So it's like, uh, you sure it's the lower tier? But I think it is the lower tier stuff. <laughs> But how do I know, you know? Um, I would say yes, just because this is what our other part of our armor is made out of. I guess that would be just a good way of going based on that. So uh, apparently we have enough of this to make two things. Yeah, sarcastically. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's kind of good, at least. Uh, I don't know how much we have this. This is the flux... Oh, so we have very little. We need apparently a bunch of these guys, uh, which is diamonds. Diamonds in the rough. And that's with our redstone. We have one over here already. Uh, actually, it was draining some of our redstone from previous time, so that's kind of nice. I'm having a feeling we're going to want to and need to make more of these guys. So... Um, I'm trying to remember how we even made it. Here it is. Oh, Electrum. Is it just Electrum Blend? It seems not so horrible, you know? So that's the Redstone Arsenal. Now, which one's better? I mean, if you look at the chest 8 and 6, 8 and 6, and it does 400k, 400, and this one is 400k. And then if we go to the other one, um, you got a lot more, I think. Yeah, 1 million, 200 RF per damage. It's like, which one's better in that sense? I guess this is when you have to say, go and do Google and type in, um, what is it? 
Redstone Armory Armory versus Arsenal. Redstone Armory versus Arsenal. Thermal expansion isn't even out for 1.7, but when it is, is mods going to be part of Fire Sound Post? Uh, huh. I'm so confused. So it looks like. Oh no, it says it's a better version, apparently. From here, what it says is, um, Redstone Arsenal is a mod by Team COFH. Which different tool? Okay. No. Uh, Redstone Army is a mod which adds new enhanced version of the tools from Redstone Arsenal. So, Armory sounds like it's the, the version that we're supposed to use, I guess. Huh. Well, it doesn't mean we can't make a bit of everything, you know that? But it does make sense because the other one's Electrum, where this one is the uh, the expensive uh, Enderium. So I guess we could try that out and see what happens. Um, sounds like my chess piece from Simply Jetpack kind of, is going to blow then because the other one seems like it's technically supposed to be better. <laughs> It's fun when you have to learn and research and things like that, but honestly, holy shit, we got enough of these crystals. We could always make both sets eventually anyways, who cares, right? Um, so, uh, let's go, let, let's do the other one. We, we can do both, who cares? Because um, we could just make a set and then make another set, right? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, because of these, I guess? There you go. So, you can make the boots, you can make the helmet, and then you don't have enough for the other stuff. And it's charging already. So, there you go. I'm sure these take damage, as you can see, still, but they have a bit of power to them. Um, so, we need the pants, which, of course, means we're out of everything else. And. Uh, yeah, sadly, I know we're going to be out of these anyways here, so. Yeah, so I knew that was going to happen. Um, let's type in Electrum. Flux infused Electrum blend. Oh, here it is. Electrum ingots. Uh, no. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I haven't made any, that's why. Um... I'm assuming... It has to be the blend, right? Yeah, because it's infused with the redstone, which means... Uh, actually, can I? Maybe I don't have to. Oh, yeah, you could do this. Alloy smelter. Awesome. Redstone and, yeah. So let's grab... Oh, here we go. I might have actually used all the other dust. Let's see here. Uh, so you could do at and then thermal... Here it is. And redstone, did we say? 45k. God, all that mining. I spent like four or five hours every day mining, and no, not with that stupid, ridiculous tool. I mean, I tested it out here and there for you guys to show, but uh, yeah, all that mining is just me spending like four or five hours a day was just hand mining. I kind of enjoy it. It's like a peaceful thing. It's ridiculous, but yeah. <laughs> There we go. So 
that'll work. And then, um, what was that? Flux, whatever. Yeah. And we might as well get more of these because we're going to need them for the other one anyway. So now that we know about that, let's just get more going, right? Um, okay, so we're going to need to one, two, we're out of crystals. <laughs> Told you we'd need the crystals. Um, sadly, we need to upgrade those machines. I've, uh, I need to build the upgraded version of all these machines and I'm going to start doing that. Um, I have gone ahead and built, uh, upgraded and removed upgrades. You remember this pulverize was ridiculous. I'm actually doing some old ores I had stored there. I reduced the 120. I think 120, like the speed of it, more than enough. Uh, doing any uh, more upgrades, like just more than just the one, I think is just ridiculous. I think the one is more than enough. Uh, the furnace itself, I decided to do the second upgrade, but it keeps up a bit more. I mean, if we went like this, uh, actually, let's see. It's slightly legs behind, but it does keep up, to be honest. Probably don't even need the upgrade. I think first upgrade is probably more than enough for my machines. I think the second one would be just too much. Um, I mean, it's not like I have power issues anyways. It's not like, you know, but at this point I see why waste it. Later I'll change the infrastructure. Uh, we are using the secondary pipes here, the, uh, the green ones, which by the way, I should probably I think we've made them before, but we've didn't the vi we've made the vibrant alloys, which was simple. Well, it wasn't simple, but ender pearl and the energetic alloys, and uh, those are twenty krf a tick that can go through them. So we should not have any clog ups, or at least not anytime soon in our system, which should be good. Uh, oh yes, diamonds, diamonds in the rough, right? Uh, there we go. There we go. So yeah, um, so four, five, six, seven, five, six. Oh shit, I need one more. But I ran out, I ran out. Oh crap, I ran out of those. Oh, I have those. Uh, and I think this is our last one, I think, hopefully. And this is our full set of that armor. Good, and then we can wear that, and there we go. So now we're immune to everything, and we can't die. That's a lie, because clearly we, we still take fall damage, but I'm not going to bother doing it. We can enchant everything, don't forget. Um, so there's your enchanting that you can do, which we knew about. Um, so that is this armor. But I kind of want to go further and make the other set, because apparently it might be actually better than the armor we're wearing. Sadly, Simply Jetpacks does not seem to have this version of the armor. Like, we have the Flux and Fuse jet plate, uh, but crazy enough, we don't seem to have actually a Redstone Armory version of Simply Jetpacks. I'm going to put that in as a request to the author, uh, ASAP, to be honest. Uh, simply Jetpack uh, GitHub. And I'm going to actually put that as a, a simple request. Oh, here it is. Suggestion. Alt. What's the other one version? Um, Arsenal, yeah.
Yeah, it looks like people already requested it, so it'll probably happen eventually. Um, so apparently this is the, the one we're, we're kind of stuck with. I don't mean that in a, a bad way, of course, just saying uh, visually uh, you're not going to have the cool looking other ones. So um, I guess we want to, um, what is this material called? Enderium or whatever? There you go. We got a bunch of it. We probably don't even have enough for this, of course, but I guess we could start with, say, the boots. Uh, Oh boy, these are going to be expensive as hell. And of course, we're already out of the diamonds. And now you can see why this upgraded would be kind of nice at this point. There you go. I guess we can make our boots. And interesting, it uses the flux infused boots. I had no clue of that. So we had to do this anyways. Ha! Huh. That's so cool. I had no clue about that. So there you go. We have new boots. And it still takes damage, but I think you have to have the full set to uh, not take damage, I'm assuming. Uh, but there you go. There's the boots. And then we want the pants, of course, etc. Uh, that's when we're going to run clearly uh, out of this material. Enderium. Enderium? Uh, I don't know. I don't think we're going to have enough of it, sadly. Uh, but we can easily make more Enderium as well. I mean, it's just a little... Expensive guild in during it. Oh, that's for the special tools. Wow um, We might need to make more of this which isn't too hard. We just need more ender pearls um, I'm thinking do we have redstone buckets still in here? No, we got rid of them uh, We could do that I guess right. Um, yeah, let's do more ender pearls We probably should get a hopper for this just to make life easier here and there so I end up doing this all the time anyways. There you go. Might as well get these puppies going. Let's just keep sucking the diamonds away. How much does it use per usage one? Oh, two. That's not too, too bad. Um... Let's do more ender pearls. Enderium or whatever is something that you kind of use a lot, so I can end up using quite a bit more. Okay, hopefully that'll get most of those done. Actually, will we have enough diamonds? Probably. I think so, yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're doing okay there. Um, we're just waiting on that stuff, and then we need some buckets, which we got here. Fish stuff's going. <laughs> Perfect. So now it's just the waiting game. So yeah, I'm really happy with the Void World base idea. Um, I'm sure performance-wise, over time, it'll be ridiculous. I mean, I am recording right now, so it's probably not going to be that much FPS but uh, yeah it's pretty good it could be pro it's probably higher to be honest it's just like I said I'm recording I got so many things running in the background that normally like yeah because I could get like 1500 at times even 2000 so I would say it's probably more like because of the recording some other stuff who knows what I've done to my client these days uh, but either way you know you definitely get a huge uh, FPS boost and it just feels a little smoother in here which is kind of nice I like it a lot that way so okay so we're gonna have to break this aren't we um, we might be able to flood that up I don't sure though I've had problems getting this to work upwards. Um, somebody told me there's a way, but I never can get it to work. Um, let's just go ahead and do the second best thing you could do. Break it and reset it. You... Yep, there you go. I don't know if it took the power to do that or if it automatically just goes crazy, you know what I mean? Like, Isn't that beautiful? Might have overdone it, but hey, 
It's worth it. There you go. And then we need that in the small tree and the other stuff that, well, we might not have anymore because we kind of just did this. <laughs> we got a couple left, but uh, did we need these? I guess not. I guess I needed them before, but eh, whatever. They're there. And uh, there you go. Put these uh, in here and put you in here. Of course, we need to make more of the pyro dusty thingies. Um, I guess we'll just do it from here. So we don't screw up the thing. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Everything but what we're trying to get. There it is, shift click. Get a stack of that going, perfect. There we go. So, uh, do, 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 just dump everything in here probably, sure. Uh, okay, so let's go back to this armor. Let's see what we're missing now. So we want to make, say, the helmet next, and we'll get our helmet out. Perfect. And of course, the last one would be the pants, of course, which we need a couple more. We'll have those in a minute. A couple more, or yeah, a few more than that. A little cheaper, I guess, by one. <laughs> we'll need three. Um. Oh, might have not been too bad. It might have been just nugget related, anyways. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, so four, right? Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Just enough. There you go. And then our own pants. And there we go. And it's done. Now you still lose damage. I don't know if you made the chest if it would be vulnerable or if it would still lose the damage. That's something I'm not quite sure about. Um, I guess it's something we can eventually find out um, for a ridiculous cost, of course. Might be worth scientifically uh, speaking to figure it out. Um, it's just a costly endeavor, of course, as you know. Let's see here. Yeah, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six more of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. I feel like we're so close to not having enough. And then, okay, so we have enough of that, but of course we don't have enough the other chest piece, of course, which requires one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We probably don't have enough of these diamonds, honestly. I think that's where things are going to go to hell pretty fast on us because uh, you need a lot more. Uh, than the other kind. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, crap. And then we ran out of these. So I guess that's something I will make on my own and experience, experiment with. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, so I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time.